Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. So, I am hyped. I am. I couldn't. We couldn't let out the excitement that we had because we watched this literally at like one o'clock in the morning. Two a.m. Actually. Two a.m. Yep, because that's when it drops. Because it drops at midnight uh, uh, Pacific time. Okay. So we watched so, it right, right when it came out. Forget everything I said about the last episode. This episode's probably the best one yet, I would say. Um, yeah. Although, that being said, this is coming from two people who have watched Star Wars. Oh, 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 oh. first things first. If you, if oh, it right, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, yes, actually, yes, you're right. I We need to get this, yeah. We're going to cut that two seconds. Can we cut that two seconds of you going, ah, da, 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 da? Well, okay, no, we can it's leave fine. it. Just keep it rolling. Okay, keep it rolling. so um, for the people that haven't seen the episode yet, um, if there are people here, Click I'm just going to, no, I'm actually just going to give you a quick little good pros and cons of it. Pros are is that there's good character development and solid, and the characters involved in this episode are solid, okay? I'm not going to tell you if they're the same characters you saw before or if they're new characters. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm just telling you that the characters involved in this episode are really good. I'm going to tell you that this episode should feel a lot like some of the more epi some of the more prominent episodes of uh, season, season one, one. Yeah. and incorporates just a lot of new things they're throwing at you in this episode. All right, so. um, and it's very different. It's a stark contrast from the last two episodes in this season. Um, and with that out of the way, so now if you this. haven't seen this, you are in spoiler warning territory. We're going to give you a couple seconds in case you're not listening or spaced out. And the couple seconds click is me now, talking right now. So this. please click off. If you haven't clicked off by now, well, meh. That's kind of your fault. Okay. Um, so, Spoilers. Okay. So I'll just run through the episode like we normally do. Yeah, um, yeah this is new territory for us because we actually released it on time. Um... So, uh, Mandalorian is flying his literal hunk of junk ship. Um, yeah, they, they always said that the Millennium Falcon was a piece of junk, but holy no, crap. No, the Millennium Falcon... Th this thing makes the Millennium Falcon look like a limousine. Honestly, the Millennium Falcon looks solid. I don't know why it gets such a bad rep. Yes, it kind of looks like a dinner plate, but it looks well, really good. Well, it's mainly good. just like how everything is exposed as opposed to I a, guess. Lot of, it's a lot of shit. Like, rustic appeal. Like, I mean, like, look at some of the Mandalorian ships from the Clone Wars, how sleek they were in design. And then when you look at something Did like... you see that? Yes, I saw that. You almost spilled all over <laughs> your phone, yeah. Um, but anyways, but if you see like some of like the really sleek ships, like, you know, like smooth edges and all that, and then you see the Millennium Falcon who... Well, it's okay, and we're not going to get into this too much because there's so much more to talk about. I will say though, that for all its flaws, the Millennium Falcon, th like, this really feeds on the fact that Mando's ship is a hunk of junk, um, in the sense of, think about the move it tried to pull off in the last episode by going between the two caves. Millennium Falcon would have made that. Oh yeah. Easy, all day. Um, but anyway, no, so, uh, he's flying to a world that he was supposed to be flying to in the first place. Do I know the name of the world? I believe, Not, I believe it's Trask. I believe. Trask? That actually sounds right now I that think, you say I think it. it. I think it's Trask. Um, I believe it's that. We could be wrong. So, it's a planet that's very interesting, um, on content, on, like, like, texture alone. Um, a lot of water, which is something we actually don't see a lot in... Star Wars, except when we're talking about under the water. Like, Naboo, all the scenes in Naboo that really focus on the water aspect of it is mostly in the Gungan world, so this is really kind of new for us. We actually have fishing boats. Um, or it's frozen, like in the first ever episode of The Mandalorian. Uh, yeah. Yes, because there's that thing where it's frozen. Yeah. So, um, funny scene where Mando, we think, like, he, first off, he's coming down like a m absolute asteroid flying he's flying in like an he, asteroid yeah, he, he it, stops it it looks like the plane is yes. skydiving they're like please There's stop he's like i'm stop. trying um and it gets to the point where we actually think oh good they're just gonna land it or it's gonna be a rough landing nope completely missed the platform in the water we go and the mon cala is that is that its proper name or is it mon cala or mon calamari mon, mon calamari Okay. Mon, Mon, Mon Cala is the place right Mon Cala is the place right yeah. i always confuse the two okay so the mon calamari is just like um, the Mon Calamari, great background character. I really like that, that they had yep. Mon Calamari. And they had a lot of and, uh, actual, like, sea creature-like... Like the Corrin? Corrin is the name of it. Okay. So, um, 
He pays the um, Mon Calamari yeah. to uh, fix his ship, and then there is an adorable scene. Fix. <laughs> There's an adorable... We'll get to oh, that. Yeah. There's an adorable scene. It's absolutely freaking adorable. I don't care what, you, what your opinion is on... What your opinion is on the frog lady, but when she's reunited with her husband, it is absolutely heartwarming. Adorable. Yeah. Yes, it's heartwarming. Now, I immediately went over, looked over at Carter, and I'm like, they better not fucking kill them now. Because <laughs> d don't. Don't you dare queel this. Don't show me a good person and then murder him. Keep them, uh, let them live um, also, Happily for the record, yeah, they are not the last of their entire species. They're the last of their bloodline. That's why we needed the eggs. So, so, Baby Yoda is not completely a genocidal murderer. <laughs> He's just half a genocide. He's just a serial killer. Um, but no, so... It's, it's, it's like... It's, 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 so anyway... Baby, Baby Yoda's like Ezra. Yes. He's trying to kill the family. Yes. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, what's it called? So after this, um, they're like... They go off. Um... Uh, they are request like, they're, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, give advice. Advised, I guess? Yeah, I I'll use advised. I was thinking of a more better word. Yeah, uh, recommended. They're recommended to go to a bar, which they do. Um, a cantina, sorry, I should say. It's not really bars there. Except on Corazon. Yeah. Um, cantina, um, headed by, uh, Coral and, and Calamari. Corin. Corin, okay. Corin and Calamari, sorry. Yeah. My bad. Um, those are two are pretty much the only ones in charge of that place. Um, yep. uh, yeah. Baby Yoda gets attacked by his food, which is kind of hilarious. Not like in any vicious manner, but the thing just goes... Kind of kind of and... the way that big that big creature in episode 7 went onto the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. Yes, Isn't yes, that? kind of. Yes. Kind of like that. Anyway, except a lot smaller. Way smaller. Um, but yes, I, I'm just trying to get through this yep. episode so we can Go get to the yep. main part that we want to keep, talk about. Keep going. Because I'm only about like a, a quarter of the way in. Just keep going. Um, anyway, no, and there's a hilarious scene, uh, and then Mando, with barely any effort, says, don't play with your food, and stabs the thing. Like, we literally, it just goes, and I'm like, yeah, seems legit, he's getting the dad vibe right up. Um, then the Corrin, um, person there says he can take them to more of his kind, right? Yeah. One thing I find interesting a lot about a lot of the Corrin in this episode, they're awfully red. I don't remember. Well, them. they were always kind of like that. It's no, hard to tell. More, that being said, though, we always saw them underwater. Not necessarily. So, if you want the argument there, you can say the water technically changes. Like I disagree. Because if you put your hand underwater, it lights up. No, but you see them a lot out of the water. Like it's too. lighter. Okay. Because you get to see the the guy on uh, Eag was like, it's the ghost of Droll. and like he's all worried about. The, remember the energy field that was destroyed? Right, 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 right. Yeah. I, I, I remember but this. I one. remember them being a lot more beige. Okay. But, but it's anyway, interesting, but I didn't remember. I, I didn't remember the color. I remember. So now Man is on a fishing ship. It's a fishing ship. Um, it's no cool name. But it's a corn based fishing ship. Um, and Don't then you see a lot of boats in Star Wars. Yeah, this was a nice touch. I mean, um, you see the one that, that being Anakin said, and Padme are on. That being two, said, be about it. But just hang on. Yeah. Um, so then what happens is, is the Corrin betray him because they want that Beskar armor. They, in a literal gasp move by me, I gasped when I saw this, the dude just flat out hits the ball that Baby Yoda's in, like a goddamn home run derby, and just puts it right in the water, and a giant monster immediately eats it. And I went, oh! Like, I know he's okay, like, but the fact that they okay. did that, I went, oh! Yeah, what? Yeah. And, and... Mando's like, what the hell, and jumps in there, and they immediately close the grave. And I'm like, okay, so how we... I, we could... We guessed where this was gonna go, right? Because I actually question if a person we saw that was watching him earlier was on the ship. They weren't. So then three Mandalorians fly in, murder the entire ship of Corrin, and let him out. And then one dives down to uh, rescue the child. Those are led by Bo Katan, and there are two others, and they're not. Their names were not mentioned in but, it, but, but their one names. Of, one of them was. Uh, oh, I can't remember her name. I, played I by Sasha Banks, but yes. Played by Sasha. Yes. Yeah, so, so Sasha Banks is. She's not going to be Sabine like one. a lot of people thought. She's yes, just and one there's of a male one. But I, I like that they use. I, I think. I think when it's, you know where they're going with it, it makes more sense. And, and I think it's smart to put someone who hasn't done acting before in a smaller role. 
Yes, yes, because, that's true. Because uh, I think I think it'd be a lot. It's good. For, yes, because we don't know if she's a good actress. Anyway, yet, so, so. Um, let Bo, Bo- Katan reprise in the role of Katie Sackhoff, which we literally just talked about. We literally just talked about the animated actors because, going in there. Yes. Because, now that being said, the character design in Bo Katan was Katie Sackhoff. They, they, that's they, they, why yeah. it worked. That, like for example, there's a there's a few characters they do like that. Like they uh, Cal Kestis from Jedi Fallen Order. Yes. They based they, off uh, the Star Killer voice actor. Yep, Star Killer based off Sam Witwer. Yes, actually, so. actually, it's funny because in that one, this is a little off topic, and I promise we'll get back. This will probably go a little over thirty minutes. We're oh, just it's gonna be a long minutes. one. Yeah. This one is full on Star Wars fandom right now. Um, with Star Killer, they actually had designs of Star Killer before they had Sam Witwer on board. And Sam Wartwer was friends with one of the guys who was working on the game. Yeah. And he's like, you know what, Sam? This kind of looks like you. And so Sam came in and did it all, yeah. I believe that. Yes, I, I watched the behind-the-scenes thing. It was great. Yeah, Sam Wartwer, awesome voice actor. So um, then we get an interesting thing where the Mandalorians meet, and they take their helmets off immediately, which we all knew. We're like, yeah, of course they do. This, this. Th- so this is it, nothing new. So it turns out... That the Mandalorian is a part of pretty much like a cult in Mandalore of the people that say well, this is the, the way. Watch. The Watch. Which, by the way... Is close to Death Watch, isn't it? Well, I, I have a theory that maybe this is... There was a few... One of my theories is that maybe there was a few from Darth Maul's version. Oh, that would be watch good! That survived. That would be good. And that's where... Um, and they had to repaint their armor. Do you think that's Mando's group? Yeah, that might that, be why they that don't. That makes so that much might, sense. No, but think about it this way: they might. That oh. might be why they don't take their helmets off because people would recognize them yeah. as being part of Darth Maul's version of Death Watch. Now that being said, it's interesting to see where that would go afterwards because Darth Maul doesn't Darth Maul lose control of Death Watch or the Collective at some point? The Shadow. Well, I mean, does he lose control? He eventually of it dies, in, but yeah, that's what I mean. But does he? Doesn't he? He has to have lost control before that, right? You'd think so, considering he was stranded on Malachor Here's my and question. nobody could save him. Here's my him. question. How, yes. Um, <laughs> actually, no, I won't ask this question. I'll, yeah. You need to save it for later. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, Mando does not trust them immediately because they took their helmets off. Which yep. is I- the irony there with someone not trusting someone because they took their helmets off. Yeah. Irony. Now, anyway, so Mando blasts off, which he can now do because he's a jetpack, which is great. Um, and he's on the mainland, um, in the harbor, I, I'll call it, and the Corrin are not happy because their brothers are dead. He's like, you killed my brother. And then all three pop back down and they're like, no. bo like, no, I killed your brother and now I'm gonna kill you. And, and, and that's such a bo thing to do. That is really a bo thing. Especially since you have to remember, when bo was first introduced as a character, she was... Kind of like a villain. Because well, she's she was... still bad going into it. The only difference yeah. is, is she's she's not never really good when you think about it. And even in this, she's she not really up, She's good. always on the fence. Yes. Although Mandalore as a society is not good or bad at the at its heart, especially since the Clone Wars. Like, yeah. since the Clone Wars, moving past that, it just becomes mixes, mixtures of gray. Because before that, it was the Satine. Yes, it was the Satine yeah. Peacemakers. But si- after that, it just goes straight gray. Yeah. Because it's hard to tell. Because, because there's so Literally, like, I love the line, unfortunately for you, history will not remember it that way, for Darth Maul's rule. Oh, yes. It's We're... just so iconic. Because it's so true. Because we can't say Darth Maul's good or bad. Darth Maul's an anti-hero. Emat. You can't call him bad because he's trying to stop Sidious. Like it, that's the amazing thing. But anyway, um, we are so we're st- we're fourteen minutes in. Um, no, so Mando leaves the the child behind after they meet up in a bar where they decide that they are going to come after an Imperial cruiser. And, and, and he leaves, no, I need to keep moving it. He, yes, he leaves them with the frog people after yeah. he meets with the Man- Mandos in the bar because they want to buy him a drink. I need to just quick fire this right off the bat. Yeah. So they meet in the bar. They discuss how they're gonna how they want to. Reclaim Mandalore, which apparently is uninhabitable or unclaimable or like unrulable, I think is the word they use for it. Well, we don't know how, probably, we don't know why. It's probably a mess. It's probably a mess because it got messed up in the Clone Wars at the bare minimum. Um, and then, and then, the, Rebel, and then, then the, even more in Rebels. Does it? I, w- I didn't see that part of it. Rebels. I can explain that later. Okay. So, um, Bo Katan wants to reclaim a Mandalore on the throne. For, or Mandalorian on the throne for Mandalore. Okay. Then, Mando leaves Baby Yoda with the frog people. And Baby Yoda actually gets to watch 
the frog little eggs hatch, which is nice. And we, I, we, I, we thought he might eat them all. We thought he might eat them. Uh, no, he's actually playing with them at the end of the episode. Yeah, I know. I guarantee he's not eating Oh, yeah, I know. Um, we thought when they first dropped then, off, yeah. Uh, the Mandalorians uh, then storm uh, an Imperial cruiser. It's like a transport unit. Uh, you, it's, Nothing uh, like... From Star yes, Wars Rebels. Star Wars Rebels, which can actually pick up AT, yeah, uh, ATs, which we don't see, yeah, but yeah. it could. Um, it blasts actually, off. You do, you do see it in Rebels. And... Then we get a great scene where they're all just storming the thing. And it's pretty big. And we get a bunch of moments where they're just taking out um, Imperials, Imperials and, and Imperial officers. And I'm a huge fan of the officers. Um, and there's four officers in total. The first officer goes out amazingly, where they think they trapped him in the cargo hold. But they trapped him in the cargo hold control room. So they get jettisoned the hell out. Yeah. Um, so then, and then the two pilots. So... The, the guy in charge, the officer in charge, um... Captain. He's a captain. 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 That's his rank. I, we don't, I don't know his name. I searched But he, <laughs> he calls, um, Moff Gideon, who, it turns out, so this is working for him. And at the end, they're like, long live the Empire, because he's not going to get any reinforcements. So, like, long live the Empire. He shoots both the pilots, and then steers it, and starts steering it right down he's to crash. He's going to crash it into yes. the ground, yeah. They store on the bridge, they get in there, and they stop him from crashing it. And they ask for answers and stuff like that. And then, and in the ship, they got supplies and guns, which they wanted to help reclaim Mandalore. But they probably obviously need a lot more. Um, Mando asks for information on how he can return uh, Baby Yoda to the people. And she says, and Bogotan says to go look on, what was the name of the planet? Karis. Karis, in the, in the forest for Ahsoka Tano. And when Bo-Katan questions the captain, the Imperial captain, he bites down on a cyanide pill-like thing and kills himself. It's electrical, but he, he kills himself. Got some serious Captain America And then, from yes, that. well, just in general. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, so then they all, they split, they go their separate ways, and um, the Ma- Mando goes, gets Baby Yoda. Goes back to his um, ship. Goes back to his ship, which is a trashed as hell. And the Mon Cal is like, I fixed it. Mon Calamari's like, I fixed it. And he's yeah. like, and he's getting in the ship, and I just love it. He's like, Calamari, Mon like Cal. Th- he paid a thousand credits for that. I paid a credit. He's like, Mon Calamari. There's like sticks everywhere. Yeah, was- and then he blasts off um, with them going to Harris. Now, this took me about 18 minutes to explain. Because, yeah. So if you want... You can put in the comments or something that just cut to 18 minutes for the actual yeah. theories. Yeah. Um, so this is now the real episode. Took us long enough. This episode is great. Um, I, and I understand why you might feel on the outs if you didn't watch Clone Wars. But it, the good news is, is that you get the gist of what's happening here because the characters are still the same. It's not like we change characters. It's not like Luke Skywalker changing who he is and how much he believes in the good in people in The Last Jedi. It's still the same people. Um, I'm happy we get to leave the frog people alone because they deserve that. Um, I get their happy ending. I get their happy ending. Um, now, Ahsoka Tano. So, here's my question. So, Ahsoka Tano had to have met up with bo again yep. after they met in Clone Because she has to know... Because I'm assuming... So... What did she do? What's the last thing Ahsoka does in Star Wars Rebels? Star Wars Rebels. The last thing she does. Because that would connect her from there to weird, now, right? It's a weird... I know, it's a weird thing where she gets pulled out of this thingy, Majigger. Yeah, there was like okay, a... Okay, where does she go, though? Just tell me where she goes. I don't know. We don't know. Where's the last you see her? What location? I think the, lo- I think the last time we see her is when Ezra pulls her... So basically, Ezra in Rebels... Oh, you're going to go so meta so fast. ...goes into this this room sort of thing that was created by the Ones, the father, son, and daughter, where time does not They're exist. They're big force deals. Time does not exist in okay. So he can basically... Don't go too deep in here. And Otherwise he pulls we'll Ahsoka out of the Ahsoka versus Vader duel... And talks to her. And this duel, by the way, um, which means that this duel Ahsoka is amazing. Go watch survives. it. Survives. Ahsoka survives. Kind of, yeah. So that's all we know. Yes. Now with Bo Katan and Rebels. So does Ahsoka so, never? So then from there, Ahsoka has to. Does she just? Um, does she go into self isolation? I guess. 
I guess. I because mean, actually, here's my question, and this is more Rebel spoilers. We're sorry, um, but it kind of had to the happen. Show came up five years ago. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> when did it end? <laughs> um, Ezra goes with Thrawn into a place, doesn't he? Yeah, they. Hey. So do you? Where does Kanan, does Kanan die? Kanan dies. Yeah, he has to, He dies. So to here's save my question. Hera and Mono. Ed, so you're Ahsoka. You've lost one of your Padawans, your unofficial Padawans, and the other one's died. Maybe that's why she went into hiding. Maybe she went to Karis because of that. Like, in the same way that, like, because she kind of failed, in a sense. Or maybe she just went there for other reasons. We're trying to figure out why she's there, right? And we're going to figure this out. However, one thing I'm going to say, I don't think she's going to be in the next episode. I think they're going to hold off one more episode first. What did I say? I said episode five. We're three in, and especially... Do you think we'll see her at the end of episode four, though? We'll see uh, her face, and then the whole episode with her character is episode five. No, normally they, they, when, normally when they end an episode, they end it with the Mandalorian in between a mission or in between something like that. Or he's starting, he's about to start. Now, one. maybe in episode four, they might do what they did kind of like in uh, episode one, where they just show her face, but she doesn't have any That's what I'm thinking. That's okay, what I'm thinking. Yeah. You might get that. Now, what I'm going to say is that the reason being that she, that the main majority of Ahsoka is probably going to be in episode five is because Dave Filoni is writing episode five. Oh, I know, but buddy, five. buddy, I, I said this last episode. Well, we both said this episode. Yeah. I said it first! Mm-hmm. You always do, apparently. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Catch but up. the interesting thing about the state of Mandalore right now, now this is talked about a lot in Rebels. Mandalore is messed up. And, and one of the reasons is is that Imperials obviously had full control uh, because after the Siege of Mandalore and Order 66 happened, that clone occupation that was going to leave never left because it morphed into the Empire. Yes. Now, in Rebels, we find out that Sabine, uh, when she was with the Imperials, had to make weapons. One of the weapons was designed that it could yeah. only be used against Beskar. I saw that, actually. Right, yes. And they eventually reversed it so it would only work against the Imperials. However, okay. the question is, if they so still have this kind of weaponry... Yes. That's... So this would explain also why... Um, so just tell me the state of the planet at the end of the, at the, end of the arc. Don't go into anything. Just uh, tell me Bo-Katan who's in charge. Had, t- had taken control... Of Ma- or, or, no, she she had taken control of multiple houses that were going to f- have an offensive against... Wait, we end it before she does the offensive? Her story ends, like, so they don't take part in the offensive. Yes, because... I this, think I know how the offensive went. <laughs> considering that she had the Darksaber at that point, and Moff Gideon has it now, I'd say it went pretty badly. Um, oh, she had it at that point. Yes, because Sabine had it, and Sabine gave it to Bo-Katan. Because so she Sabine said, dead? So is Sabine dead? Um, There's a chance she's know. dead. Oh, she could be dead. I, I feel like they won't kill her just straight up because I feel like that'd be a little anticlimactic. I feel like if they're, if they're gonna they're kill her... They're not gonna Luminara unduly this. If, they, <laughs> if they're gonna have a Sabine death, they're gonna show it. Yes. You're gonna see it happen. Yes. It's so, not gonna be like, oh yeah, by the way, let's, yeah. big important character so, in one of our shows, she's dead now. So the Imperials, okay? So the Imperials were trying to transport weapons to Moth, Gideon. Yeah. So that big. So Moff Gideon's the guy in control. Does Moff of, Gideon still have control of Mandalore? I think he has to. Otherwise, they wouldn't need the weapons, right? Sure. Or unless it's like, unless they. I don't know how you else you would damn the thing. Maybe that's the thing. Like you, you can blow up the city technically because it's it's floating. It's a lot like Cloud City. It's floating, so you can technically take it completely out because the yeah. the surface is un, un like inhabitable. Um, we're not getting into that. That that, uh, that, that that gets into the L word. Just just accept it. Just accept that the planet is uninhabitable, except for the city, skitty, little bit skitty, the city in the sky, which is Mandalore. Well, it's not in the sky. It's, it's on the ground in a. Gl- basically, you know what I mean. It's a snow globe. Okay. <laughs> it's a snow globe it's with a lot a of mirrors. Um, yes. No, but like, there's a lot of things I have. So like, Ahsoka still has the white light, lightsabers, right? Uh, yes. She should. She does. She should. And one thing I will... Don't say she does. She should. She very... She really should. But one thing I will say is that... Uh, We're kind of drifting away from uh, Boba Fett. We're, we'll get back there. And she, he still has Boba Fett's armor, doesn't he? 
Uh, sure. Yeah, and, and assuming one thing, it didn't fall out. Assuming it didn't fall out, yeah, when he's going through yes. space. Now, one thing I will say is that we know for sure that it's very likely that obviously we're going to see Bo Katan again this season. Of course. We of course. have to. I and especially know. since we know. And the two other Mandalorians as well. They're obviously going to run into more Imperials because in the trailer you obviously saw the transport with the speeder bikes yes. and all that. Scout thing. Trooper. So it's going to happen. I, I'm I, there's so many questions I have on this because and we're and we're gonna see Bonk Gideon's tie fighter. I wonder how many different like remnants there are split up of the Empire. There's because, a lot. So this is after Jack. Is this after Jakku or before Jakku? Pretty sure this is after. If this is after Jakku, oof, you you don't have any Versio. You don't have Admiral Versio. Which I didn't think you would get much of. If him. it's after Jakku. If it's after Jakku. If it's before Jakku, it's still. A likely chance you might not get him. I feel like it would have already happened. Like, because they could have Operation Cindered the thing. Mandalore. What if they Operation Cindered Mandalore? Holy shit. Like, okay, granted, they do make it sound you just, like, though... Do you, do you have any idea how many doors you just opened? I know, I know. Like, I, I I really shouldn't have at the 26-minute oh mark. Oh, my God. But, like, that's... There, you know, there's you know options the, You know the meme where they show the brain and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and, until the point where it just... Really? I thought you were going to do the one where it's the husband's like this, and then they're like this, and then, then both of them are like this? Like, uh, ugh. Like, I just... Holy... Cr if, oh, if this is in the middle of... Operation I don't know if they Cinder. did, though, because here's the thing. They make it sound like Vardos is the first target in Operation Cinder, right? Vardos is the first target. It is. So like, this is not like this wouldn't have ha this would have happened after it, and I don't know how many times they were able to do Operation Cinder because they lost because Operation again, Cinder didn't work on Naboo. Oh, because they tried it on Naboo, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, it went wrong. It went bad on Naboo. How, yeah. However, think of it this way: a lot of the places that they're using Operation Cinder on are these big inhabited places. Yeah, so it, it does. Bardos is a big place. It does fit now, the message of Mandalore so it, being big. It, Especially since an orbital strike against a city with buildings hanging from a ceiling. Also buildings, yeah. Oh yes, it is a glass thing. Now because I remember. It's a because it's glass yes, Because they fight at the and top. And they're hanging right. from the ceiling. Right. Yeah, that, that's Having not an good. orbital strike will absolutely annihilate it. Yeah, You'll no. make it look like the rest of the planet. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> anyway, we'll keep moving here. But no, like, here's the thing. I wonder how many certain high-ranking officials we'll meet. The captain was pretty cool. I liked having yeah. him there. I like the fact that he just, like, I love the fact that you have that um, difference between the captain and the pilots. The and pilots, obviously, are not too far and in. And there are rumors that have started since this episode has dropped. Do you so, tell? Uh, about possibly, now that this, now that we know Ahsoka is going to have some sort of role, mm -hmm. that this is opening the door to characters like Ezra Bridger. That'd be interesting. And Thrawn. If Thrawn shows up, I'm, I'm going to shit myself. I'm losing my shit. Even more than... I feel like I lose... Because the if thing is... Gideon is working for We had, for we had a good idea that it's like a very... Like a very Would you say concept. Gideon is working for Thrawn? I don't know. Because I feel like no. Can you search I, up what's bigger, Grand Admiral or Moth? Grand Admiral, for sure. I'm assuming. Because you'd have to be Grand Moth to have the same thing. Because Grand Moth exists. Yeah, I know it did. Well, yeah, of course think it, of it is. This way. Grand Moff Tarkin. Here's how I remember it. Here's how I remember it. Um, think of the meeting in New Hope. Tarkin's leading it, right? Tarkin's Grand Moff. And actually, the dude who gets choked by Vader and then gets released is Moff. So, by by proxy, Grand Admiral should... One thing I will say... Also, about Admiral that Versio was in charge... Like, and there's not really Moffs anymore, because a lot of Moffs are based on systems, right? Well, yeah. Mira's admirals are based on ships. Yeah. So what the he so Moth is he Moth of Mandalore? I stop it! I <laughs> right? Did I just stumble across that? Because you have to be a Moth of the system, right? Yeah, Moth. And then Grad and and admirals are in charge of is ships. Moth more, is more of controlling a system and controlling a section of territory as opposed to Grand Admiral is. To control obviously many ships, do that many but control the actual warfare of it and these strategies and whatnot, stuff like that. Like, I mean, if you really want, you can search up the, the difference in ranks. Yeah, I will in a bit, but like, in a my, bit, phone, my phone's low. Um, minutes. no, but like, 
Oy. There's so much out of this. I, I'm, you know what I am fearful though? What? What? Like, I'm fearful for how Baby Yoda, like, what'll happen to Baby Yoda in this entire season. I don't know. Like, there's bad, there's a lot of rumors. I'm not gonna say bad rumors, but there's a rumor that, to the point where we meet Luke Skywalker. If we meet uh, Luke Skywalker. The one I told you? Yes. If okay. we meet Luke Skywalker, that's a bad thing. Here's why. If we meet Luke Skywalker, Baby Yoda isn't gonna make it to age 90, is what I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah. Baby Yoda's gonna die. One of the rumors that I have heard, however, I don't think it's possible because, like, it's way too early on, is that Baby Yoda gets taken to Luke Skywalker, and when Ben Solo breaks out, he's one of the people, uh, Baby Yoda's one of the people that gets cut down. Do you really think they would do it, though? Because a, But they wouldn't, you know why? They wouldn't get this so is close. five years after. Well, they wouldn't get so ben close Ben Solo isn't to... there for a long time. Oh, Baby Yoda's lifespan is long. Uh, though they wouldn't well, get I mean, to... Yeah. Here's my You're really gonna kill him off You know what screen? I think, though, is a chance, though? I'm not sure if we're gonna meet other Yodas, okay? Like, other Yoda species. Yeah. I'm not sure if I want to. But, I don't. But here's what I want to have so happen, except for one. I do want to meet Yadel. Because if Yadel lived... Yadel, by the way, is the female version of Yadel. I kind of hope she did. Council. You know why? Because the thing is... is you kind of hope she did or didn't? Didn't. You know why? We can't have too many Jedi running around during four, five, and six. Otherwise, it means that Luke. To be fair, though, like, most he's the he's the one. Thing, he has to. Yato can fall through the cracks, though, because um, if you think of all the Jedi that served in prominent battles in the Clone Wars, Yato doesn't make the list. Yeah, and that's good because then Yato falls through the cracks. Even guys like I even, feel like and Jedi also too they, in the new canon and new canon stuff, they've actually incorporated more Jedi that have died. In it as well, with T'Pol and just Cordova die? I don't he's the guy that you're following in Fallen Order. Is he dead? Yeah, like, he's dead. He's dead. Does he die in Order 66? Or after Order 66? I'm not sure. Well, he gets hunted down, he's done. So, also, just, and other people that became Inquisitors. So it's not like you're, you're putting too many Jedis out there. Also, Kanan is dead. Also, so, even the Jedis you let fall through... Yeah. And you started with, let's say... I just a, say, a you don't want people, too many. A lot of people like to say we started with, like, 200 Jedi. You can bump that up and pretend you started with 500 Jedi, and now you're down to, like, 50. That's still a there, freaking there massacre. Was, there, was, there, was, there, was, there were thousands. Yeah, you could say thousands, done. There were thousands. Like, done. you don't lose the... Like, Order 66 will never not mean anything. It will always mean something, because we lost well, I'm not a arguing lot against Order 66. I'm just saying is that you don't... Ideally, you don't want to have too many yeah. Jedi around. Well, you know what? It breaks the span of four, to the start of four to the end of six. Yes, I will say that. Yes, that is true because I love the 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 um the theory that lasts about as long as until we get into and like more EU and stuff like that and Legends and Canon when people are just like where where people are just like well. Uh, Vader's the chosen one both times because he, he destroys the Emperor, but also, um, at the end of episode three, there are only two Jedi and two Sith. Do you, well, do you yeah. know that one where it's like Obi-Wan yeah, and know. him? And then I'm like, yeah, you're, you're, you're broken now. Y you know, you know what? Do you want me to give you an insane theory that's going to blow your mind? Hmm. What? So... Now that Vader Don't is gone... Don't tell me Rey is the chosen no, one. No, I'll not, smack we're not, you silly. <laughs> no, I'm not even going anything close to that yeah. sort of theory. Um, <laughs> that now that theory. Vader is gone, do these Inquisitors now... How many are left? Do any of them work for maybe any of the Moths or animals? That was a thought I, I threw so, in my head. So, question is, Barisafi... I want Barisafi to be a, an Inquisitor. It makes sense. It, she she has to be an. It makes sense only because she turned to the dark side at the end. And she was put in a prison. She wasn't killed. Was she put in a prison? I didn't. Yes, they put that, they put her to prison. I will say after though, the, uh, if they're gonna Easter. reveal Barris Afi as an Inquisitor, she's got to fight Ahsoka. Well, not even just that. No, it's yeah. oh oh oh. You open that door. You you just you. I told I you. I was I was sitting out. I was sitting outside just enjoying coffee, and you just bounced into the room. And I told I'm, you. Oh. But here's the thing: they gotta set that up, though. Like, yes, they can technically get around it, like the way they've been getting around things in this episode, where they know that people know. I feel like that's a season but three also, possibility. Too, you don't want season three possibility. Ooh, possibility isn't there like a season three and a season four? And that's assuming they use uh, Ahsoka that reliably. 
Like, I believe they would, but I'm just saying, for arguments. Dave Filoni, I trust you. Yeah, because, so, you know what this is building towards, though? The ending of this season is going to be another Siege of Mandalore. It has to be. Also, let's let's the not forget Siege of let's Mandalore. not forget the main fact oh, oh. here that blew my mind is that like the Mandalorians Mandalorian group is one hundred percent a cult and oh, it's probably totally not great. Yeah, it sounds like, like they this have a bad reputation. So, like, is the armor gonna the armor is gonna hear about this? Yeah, wh- I feel like like because the armor is Mando's like in definitely gonna ask. Her also, if he sees worth her. noting, Paz. Uh, Vizsla's descendants are in... It's weird, yeah. though, because Paz Vizsla is played by um, uh, John, John Favreau. Favreau. His voice, anyway. I'm not sure who's in the suit. It doesn't matter. Who was the same um, voice of pre Yes, but he's on... He's in The Watch. So what happened there? Because House Vizsla... How the hell did Bo-Katan go here? And the other... Well, when they split up... That's my theory about the Darth Maul thing, because some of the house... Very few people went with bo when Maul destroys yeah. Vizsla. That could have been those two people could have been with her. Yeah. Stop! <laughs> but, but what, like I'm saying, that that goes, th- that goes works well with the theory I have, that part of Darth Maul's version of Death Watch, yeah, no, which is I just like an assortment of Mandalorians, not I specific like houses... Oh, I will. I will say this is oh, one thing I, I mentioned earlier. Um, the other, like last night, and I, and I, video. yeah. Well, at some point, we're thirty six. Uh, at I, I did forget to mention. I, I, I kind of find it hilarious that no matter where we meet, like for example, the Tuscan Raiders have gotten a whole new look because of how well they've been befriended, right? So they're no longer just this mindless killing people, um, and creating proto Darth Vaders. Um, now, but the Corrin did not get that. The Corrin stayed bad and scummy. The Corrin... They're like, they're like the pirates of Hondo. They just never get a good version of them. Yeah. Except for that Cantina guy in episode one. Yeah. Season two. Like, there's so many things that... Like, I don't know where Boba Fett's gonna come into this, though. Although, do you think Boba Fett's gonna show up with the Slave One chasing him at some point? Because like, he would have tracked him down. Because he's a bounty hunter. At his core, he's a bounty hunter. Especially since he has the whatchamacallit on his head for uh, when he freed, what's his name, in, ep- in season one. Remember? Because the, they were saying that the New Republic has like a thing on him. Right. Yeah, they so have, we like, could have a just, um, record. Yeah. yeah, he's got a record. Boba Fett back not in like business? It, not <laughs> like his ship is really recognizable based on the uh, crappy yeah. job the Mon Calamari did. Yeah. No, it's, it's very interesting. interesting. Huh? Gonna have to get that fixed. Yes. It's very interesting. Um, there's so many things that really we could look at, and it's, I just don't know where it's gonna go. I don't know how much of this em- empire is gonna make it out of season two. I feel like a lot of it actually... Well, you know how... I the, feel like a lot of... I feel like Moth well, you, you know what, is gonna make it out a lot. You, know, you know what I feel like is gonna happen at or the maybe end not, of the actually. Mandalorian TV show as a whole? Hmm. Well, the whole thing about the First Order is that the empire flees into the unknown regions... And rebuilds into the first order, which eventually comes back because they have people who were corrupt in the New Republic who take control of the government. So, are you saying we're going to have a Hail Hydra moment? Yes, this that is, would be really they're, they're, cool. Although that being said, we it haven't winter touched, soldiers. It we haven't touched a lot on the New Republic inter- other than two fighters, about three fighters, I except for Dave Filoni, basically. Yes, three <laughs> fighters. So we don't actually know a lot of the inner workings of a lot of the more... Um, I'm excited for where uh, yes. season two can go. Yeah, it's... it. There's a lot good. Do you know the name of the next episode on, by heart? No, because the list that I had of the episode names, you can throw that straight out the window because not one of them was true right. for any of these. So The ha- Harris. The Harris, I think is how you say yeah. it. So. That was really good episode, though. Um, if you Maybe guys saw the whole series by by far, if you guys made it this far, who dose? Um, so if you like that video, please leave a like, share it around, and subscribe as well as follow us on Instagram. Right. We greatly appreciate it. We are trying to work up to fifty subscribers by the end of the year. We think it's a possible attainable goal. We are optimistic. Um, we're well on our way. <laughs> um, yes, once again. What I just said. Um, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, and comment down below. <laughs>